A community on alert this morning after a police officer gets gunned down while on duty. And that manhunt continues as we speak near the state line for three killers. Jonah Kaplan is live in Fox Lake, Illinois this morning with an update on the search and a little bit more about the victim as well. Jonah? You know, Vince, this is a quaint town, a small community of about 10,000 people. To them, this is very personal. I want you to take a look behind me here, right in front of the police department, a small memorial set up. You can see some balloons, some flower bouquets, even a sign that reads, Police Lives Matters. And there's even a handwritten letter to the person that many here in the community called their G.I. Joe. Lieutenant Charles Joe Glinowitz was shot and killed yesterday after reporting he was chasing three suspects engaged in suspicious activity. Several teams are helping in this investigation, state and federal agencies. Schools are canceled today. Many people we spoke with will stay home and hope police will catch the killers of their fallen hero. Lieutenant Joe was even the leader of the local Explore Explorers program, which helps kids get into policing. And everything was for the kids, anything to help the kids. And you could talk to any of the kids that were his cadets, wherever, they loved them. And as we look now above from the sky, you could see again just how small really the parameters here of Fox Lake are. Yesterday was an exhaustive search, more than 100 officers involved. You can be sure the search will again have that same level of urgency as police search for three suspects considered to be armed and dangerous. We are live here in Fox Lake, Illinois this morning. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. And Jonah, have you talked to anyone? Any chance these guys made it up to Wisconsin? You know, what's interesting is I've been speaking with some of the colleagues here from NBC News, and we were comparing this perhaps to kind of a manhunt underway from New York, uh, which was a few months ago when those captives escaped the prison. Here we don't really have much description about these three individuals, so there's potential that they could be anywhere. We know that there are three men, believed to be two white, one black man, but there's no description of their faces, no tattoos. There's really not a, a lot of descriptions, specific descriptions, that would help people look for for them. Uh, only that, again, these people are armed and dangerous, so people at least here at Fox Lake encouraged to stay inside, and that's why school is canceled today. Vince? All right, Jonah Kaplan reporting live for us down there just south of the state line. Jonah, thank you. Uh, new